Okay then, in this video we'll briefly discuss the central class of the leaflet library, call it l.map. So let's go to the official website of the leaflet library, which is this one, leafletjs.com, and then in here I'm in the docs section, this is official documentation of the leaflet. So in this video we will discuss things like map options, map events, then we'll discuss map methods and then map properties. But again, this video, in this video, we'll discuss them very generally because it's going to be general overview of the leaflet map class. And then in later videos, we'll discuss each of these components of the class in detail. So let's get started. So first of all, um, let's go to the usage example. So we already briefly discussed this one previously. So if you would like to initialize leaflet map, what you need to do is you need to create leaflet map object like this. So and then you need to specify the central class l.map and then you need to specify HTML element and then starting from here from the curly bracket, you open the curly brackets and then you pass on options. So you can see that formula in here as well. So l.map and then string ID. So that means the ID of the HTML element and then you pass on map options. So the second one is, that is exactly the same one, but the difference between them is in the first one, you pass on string ID, while in the second one, there would be HTML element. We can do this one very quickly. So I'll show you. So let's go to our main.js. And in here, what we do is First of all, what we need to do is we need to get HTML element, right? Because here we are passing on string ID. We don't want string ID. We want to pass on HTML element. That's why we need to get our HTML element into the JavaScript and, non and then pass on that HTML element directly into, into here. So let's do that. So for that, we need to create variable so I'll, I'll name it map element and then document get element by id and the id would be map id this one right so that's how you get the html element into javascript and now instead of string id we'll pass on this variable so it's basically the same but instead of string id we're passing on html element so if we go back to our leaflet application, so it should still work. So that's how you pa pass on HTML element. And then you can pass on map options. So map options we have in here would be center, zoom, and layer. So we've passed on three options. But let's have a look what other options we have in the leaflet library. So we have preferred convert ca canvas. So that's, a, um, that's, um, it's not very, it's not used very often because, um, you can, you can say prefer canvas. You can set this one to true. So that means you, you prefer, uh, canvas, uh, renderer over the SVG because by default, uh, leaflet uses, um, so-called SVG renderer call it this one SVG so SVG is scalable vector graphics so it's much better it's so SVG the difference be, the difference between SVG and um, canvas is SVG is based on uh, vector while um, while canvas is based on raster so that means SVG is, as you know vector graphics is usually better than raster in many cases so that's why usually it's not used often so um, for now, just let's skip this one. So then we have control options like attribution control, zoom control. So by default, they are set to true. So attribution control would be this, and then zoom control is this. So they are set to true. If you set if you set them to false, they will not be visible on the map. So you will just hide them. So then we have interaction options like you know like zoom snap, zoom delta. So these are for setting. Um, the zoom levels, like when you click on the, you know, like these zoom buttons, it's going to be, for instance, if you say zoom delta 0 0.1, it's going to be like more granular. So that means instead of zooming in rapidly, it's going to be very, very minor zoom in. 
or zoom out. So we'll discuss again them later on. For now, just I'll give you a very general overview of the map uh, map options. Um, so then we have map state options, and we have used them like several of them in here. Center, we used zoom, and then we used layers. So we can use some others, other ones if we want, for instance, minimum zoom. So that means you can specify the minimum zoom and then that would be your minimum zoom. If you go beyond that, like if you would like to further zoom out, it's not going to do that. So let's, for instance, implement this one so you can see then uh, what I'm talking about. So for instance, if you set min zoom to, let's say, 4, our default one is 5 and then min zoom we set to 4. So that means you can... Um, zoom out one level and that's it so for instance in here if I refresh so that's zoom level 5 and then if I click it once or if I zoom out that's gonna that's they will that's now grayed out so that means I cannot zoom out any farther so because I have set mean zoom to be 4 so then we have some other ones animation options panning inertia options keyboard navigation options so these are all options that you can pass on when you initialize your leaflet map object so that means in here so here we have all the options right so we can pass on those options in here so then let's continue so then we have touch interaction options so everything up until here would be options and then starting from here would be events. So, so what are the events? So leaflet events are a signal that tells you that something has happened or occurred. And you can attach one or more functions that fire up when that event happens. So for instance, I'll give you one example. So for instance, when you change base layer, so the first one, base layer change, you can you can um, you can attach some function to this event so that means whenever user or you change the base layer it tells you or fun uh, that event tells you hey um, someone has changed the base layer and then you can attach some functions to this event so we can have a look into this one um, in example so for instance um, we can so let's find the event so we have base layer change event overlay add overlay remove so then we can we have then map state change events so for instance let's pick up this one resize so that means whenever there is a resize of the map we can we can do something like it can we can for instance console log and then say hey this map has been resized it, it would be very simple um, example of the resize so you can read the description in here so this is event and then description is in here fire it when the map is resized so let's implement this one so you will have a better understanding of what i'm saying so let's go to our code and in here we'll write so first of all we need to refer to our map so there would be my map and then on so because my map on resize so whenever there is a resize, please perform this function. And in this function, it's going to be a very basic function. So we'll just print out to the console the map has been resized. So that means whenever there is a resize, so we are, we are saying, hey, fire this function. And that function does very basic thing, which is just printing out this string to the console. So let's check this. So let's go to our leaflet application. And then if I just resize this leaflet map, it should print out or it should console log the map has been resized text. So let's do that. So you see the map has been resized. So because we are changing the size of the map. Like this. So that's very basic example of the um, map events or leaflet map events then we have pop-up events like pop-up open pop-up close so these are you know like for instance when you have vector data or or any data so you can attach some pop-ups 
like whenever a pop-up opens so let's say assume you have point data whenever you click on the point it just opens up uh, opens up that pop-up or additional window which tells you some information about that point data so we'll discuss um, these ones in later on uh, in detail then we have tooltip events location events interaction events like click double click so for instance when you click on the map um, it will fire up this event for you and then you can attach whatever function or whatever functions you want so then here we have methods so methods or leaflet methods are actions that can be performed on the leaflet map object for instance you can say hey give me the renderer whether it's you know like whether you would like to know for instance whether the renderer is svg or canvas which we discussed previously right so you can do that and then you can get the renderer or you can do add control so that means if you would like to add some kind of additional control you can use this method um, or each layer if you would like to iterate through the through the layers you have in your leaflet application so let's implement very simple one in here but let's find the one so in here we have methods for modifying map state so that means it will change the state of the map like changing the view or um, changing the zoom level etc so let's find a um, very simple one so let's do fly to so that means fly to that means in the fly to you specify latitude and longitude and then whenever um, whenever some kind of, will attach you know map event like maybe a resize or click and then whenever there is a click or resize it flies to this latitude or longitude or the view will be changed to this lat and long so you can read the description in here as well sets the view of the map to to the geographical center so to this latitude and longitude so let's do that so we'll just copy this and then in here I will write my map on and then again resize because as I said before whenever there is a resize it's gonna fly to let it to, to to our latitude and longitude and for that it's gonna let's make this one very simple so zero zero so that means whenever there is a resize our map will be centered around this latitude and longitude so latitude and longitude are geographical coordinates so we'll discuss them in, uh, in detail later on um, so let's check this so again we're just doing very basic thing in here whenever there is a resize change the center of the map to zero zero so so let's do that so you see it's changing the view to zero zero uh, geographical coordinate or latitude or it's setting the uh, center to be zero zero so then let's go to leaflet documentation so we have then geolocation methods so like if you would like to get the core uh, the location of the uh, of the user or the browser which is which is which is using our leaflet application you can use this or uh, some other methods like you know get pain get paints get container when ready and then methods for getting map state like you know get center the previous ones were like set, set center was setting but these ones are getting like you know in javascript setters and getters so set that means everything that sets um, or specifies and get that means it just gets the value so for instance set center will set the center get center will get the values of the existing center so then we have conversion methods um, then we have finally we have properties so the properties are uh, the values that are associated with a leaflet map object so like very similar to get center you know like get um, get the um, get getter methods or get methods so for instance here we have zoom control so it just gives you the value for um, or, or just a handler for that uh, for that zoom control so then we have um, some handlers like box zoom double click zoom dragging keyboard etc and then map panes 
so like these ones so again these ones are very basic options um, um i don't i don't uh, sorry not options properties so let's let's quickly have a look into one of these so so you will have then better understanding because i like explaining things in in practice rather than in theory so that's why let's have a look into properties very quickly so for instance we can get um get panes we can use use this one get panes so get panes or we can use get pain and then it's gonna give us these properties i just want to show you how to get them so you'll have a better understanding my map on uh, actually, we don't need my map on because we're not assigning any kind of, you know, event handler. So we can say my map and then get panes and then dot or oh, just just this one is enough. So we're just printing out the panes. Um, so again, if you don't understand what panes are, so you can see panes are DOM elements used to control the ordering of layers on the map. So, but this is not very important because what I would like to show you is just these properties. So if you go there, so into the console, so in here, so we have these options, I'm sorry, properties like map pane, marker pane. So they should be exactly the same in here, you know, like marker pane, tooltip pane. So tooltip pane, so in here. And if you would like to access them, it's very easy. So from the JavaScript, should know that you can say hey dot and then you write um, the property name so for instance tile pane and then it gives you um, tile pane so that's how you access properties so basically that's it so this was a very general overview of the leaflet um, class uh, so um, as I said before uh, Later on, we'll discuss these ones like, you know, events, methods, properties in detail. Uh, so that's it regarding this video and I will see you in the next video.